December 3rd, 1948. Downtown Birmingham is packed with thousands of football fans. They're parading to celebrate a game that would in the years ahead become the game. The game in 1948 pitted Alabama's Crimson Tide against the Auburn Tigers. First time the two had played since 1941. Along 19th and 20th streets, fans packed the sidewalks for this historic parade. Bama faithful cheered their band, marching behind a banner with the battle cry, Tide Nips Tigers. Bama fans also got a glimpse of the wives of some of their stars. Mrs. Gordon Pettis, Mrs. Ray Richardson, and Mrs. Bill Cadenhead. Newspapers of December 48 tell us the fans of both schools partied all night long, getting ready for the first Bama-Auburn game since 1907. The next afternoon, 46,000 of those fans crowded into Legion Field. Their teams arrived soon after one for the two o'clock kickoff. Coach Harold Red Drew and his Alabama staff came into the game a two touchdown favorite because of veteran stars like Pettis, Richardson, and Cadenhead. But they also had some sensational sophomores in Ed Salem, Al Larry, and Pat O'Sullivan. Auburn coach Earl Brown had his share of talent too. And in the stands, his players could check out the Tigers' card section. Now, the game was a huge event, big enough for Governor Big Jim Folsom and his wife, movie star and former Bama player Johnny Mac Brown, and broadcaster Bill Stern, who was going nationwide on NBC Radio. When Captain Richardson for Bama met with Auburn's Russ Inman at midfield, everything was ready for the Tide of the Tigers in 1948, one of Bama's greatest games.